Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to discuss linkage and crossing over and this is the first part of this topic. What is linkage? Linkage is tendency of two or more genes to be inherited together. The genes do not follow the law of independent assortment and the linked genes will not try to separate or exchange genetic material. The term linkage was given by Morgan. So this is the definition of linkage and what is crossing over? It is the exchange of genetic material between non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. It takes place in diplotene stage of meiosis and the term was given by Morgan. So we know that when crossing over takes place uh, between non-sister chromatids of hom homologous chromosome, then recombination takes place. So as we have already discussed, what is linkage? Linkage is physical association of non-allelic genes on the same chromosome. Now linkage is of uh, two types, complete linkage and incomplete linkage. Complete linkage is when all the genes present on one chromosome are in inherited together and uh, incomplete linkage is when not all the genes are inherited together. So linkage is of two types, complete linkage and incomplete linkage. Then there is another term which is linkage group. It is all the genes associated with a pair of homologous chromosomes makes linkage group. So, if the individual is diploid, then the linkage group is haploid for a diploid organism. Like in humans, uh, females, uh, the linkage group is 23 because there are uh, 22 pair of autosomes plus 2X chromosomes. So, 22 pair plus 1 pair of X makes 23. So, in female humans, their linkage group is 23 while in males, the linkage is group is 24 because 22 pairs of autosomes 22 plus 1x plus 1y makes 24. So linkage group in males will be 24 in humans. Now the chromosome theory of linkage was given by Morgan and according to this theory all the genes present on one chromosome form one linkage group. If the distance between genes is less, then the probability of the linkage is more and linkage is inversely proportional to crossing over. So more is the crossing over, less is the linkage, less is the linkage, more is the crossing over and linkage is more when the distance between the genes is less. When the distance between the genes is more, then crossing over takes place. Fetzen and Punit discovered linkage in Lathyrus odoratus. So they were doing a cross between a purple flowered plant with long, long pollen and a red flowered plant with round pollen. Purple is dominant over red and long pollen is dominant over round pollen. Uh, so when they cross these two parents, uh, differing in these two pair of contrasting characters in F1 they expected purple and long flat plants and they got purple and long flat plants but in F2 they were expecting 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio uh, where whereas as expect this the result which they got they were not as expected it was uh, different from the expectation they got more recombinant they got more parental type combination than the recombinant so they got 7 is to 7 is to 1 is to 1 ratio so 7 purple round and 7 red round they were like parents and 1 purple round and 1 uh, red long was were recombinant so the total was still 16 and so this was a modification of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. So uh, this confused them and then they carried, carried out second set of experiments. In this set of experiment they made a cross between purple flowered plant with round pollen with a red flowered plant and long pollen. 
so in f1 uh, as expected purple long uh, purple flat plants with long pollen were obtained and in f2 uh, when they did selfing of f1 in f2 they, again they got 7 is to 7 is to 1 is to 1 ratio uh, where 7 and 7 were parental type combination uh, purple uh, 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 purple round and red long and the other 1 is to 1 were recombinants purple long and red round so from this they concluded that probably the parental type combinations are inherited together so probably the genes which are located um, uh, on the same chromosome they are not following independent assortment and they have a tendency to stick together so from these two crosses they coined the term coupling and repulsion coupling they said that tendency of two dominant or two recessive genes to be inherited together and uh, repulsion in repulsion they said that one dominant and one recessive allele gets inherited together so in test cross when they perform test cross in test cross of both the crosses parental time pro progenies were far more in number than the recombinants and from this test cross they said that coupling phase or coupling is a phenomenon where both the dominant genes tend to remain together and both the recessive genes also tend to remain together while repulsion phase or repulsion is a phenomenon where two dominant genes repel each other and two recessive genes also repel each other they do not come together so coupling and re repulsion are two types of linkage uh, phenomena now for maximum linkage genes will be too close so that no chance of chiasma formation and both the genes will remain linked and linkage is 100 percent it means that linkage can be 100 percent and the, there is a chance that no crossing over occurs then we say when we, the linkage is 100 percent we say that linkage is complete linkage now second point is if distance between them increases chances of crossing over increases but the chance never increase more than 50 percent it means that when the distance between the genes increases the crossing over percentage increases but it cannot go beyond 50 percent so the maximum crossing over which can take place between genes is 50 percent third point is crossing over is directly proportional to distance between genes it means that more is the distance between genes more is the chances of crossing over fourth point is maximum linkage is as high as 100 percent and if there is no crossing over at all minimum crossing over is zero percent it means the four point means fourth point means that uh, the crossing over percentage goes from zero to fifty percent and linkage uh, go the link linkage percentage goes from 50 percent to 100 percent fourth point means that the maximum percentage of crossing over can be 50 percent and the minimum percentage of linkage is 50 percent so the highest percentage of linkage is 100 percent and the highest percentage of crossing over can take place between two genes is 50 percent fifth point is crossing over is inversely proportional to linkage this is because more is the distance between genes more is the crossing over less is the distance between genes more is the linkage so we have just discussed sixth and seventh point minimum linkage is 50 percent and maximum crossing over is 50 percent so these are the seven points which you have to remember for this topic now linkage map or genetic map is a diagrammatic representation showing the relative distance between linked genes of a chromosome and then it is called linkage map or genetic map student who was a student of morgan gave the concept of gene mapping he said or he established a relationship 
uh, that genes are linearly arranged on chromosomes and there is direct relation between the percentage of crossing over and the distance of linked genes. Say the percentage of crossing over between two genes is 20 percent. So, we say that they are 20 map units apart. So, from the percentage of crossing over, we uh, uh, can make out a genetic map by um, making out by, by calculating the distance between the genes from recombinant percentage. Far, far more the genes, more the chances of crossing over and crossing 1% crossing over is equal to 1 map unit. This was given by Stuttgart. Third point is map unit is also called Morgan unit which can be centi Morgan unit uh, and fourth point is map unit is purely hypothetical and could be in millimeter centimeter or meter one map unit is equal to percentage of crossing over or percentage of recombination sometimes the recombination percentage may be less but crossing over may be more so this happens when double crossing over occurs so question number one is assume three genes a b c and the recombination percentage is 20% for A, B, 6% for A and C and 14% for B and C map the genes. So, we have just discussed that percentage of crossing over is equal to percentage of recombination. And they, this is also 1% crossing over is equal to 1% recombination is equal to 1 map unit. So, these distances, these percentages means that these genes are um, uh, these map units apart. So, you, we, you can just lean, uh, make a genetic map or linkage map using this percentage of crossing over. So, here you can see that because the distance between um, uh, uh, the gene there is A and B is 20 percent now. So, A and B uh, the recombination percentage between A and B is 20 percent. So, we have just put 20 map units between A and B and 6 map units between A and C and so we have this is the genetic map which has been prepared like this. So, this is a very simple question where you can prepare a genetic map using the percentage of recombination or percentage of crossing over. Link genes are denoted in a different manner and they are different from the uh, genes which are following Mendelian inheritance. So, you can see that in first example you can see that there is a splash put between uh, capital TS and capital TS instead of TTSS. It means this slash means that the genes are T and S are linked. In second example you can see again slash is put and in third example also you see that slash is put and wild type genes are denoted by plus. So, here plus C means that uh, plus is wild while C is dominant mutation and here W is a dominant mutation and plus is wild. So, this is the denotion of genes which are linked. And now there are some terms. NCO means non-crossover, SCO means single crossover, DCO means double crossover and recombination percentage formula is number of recombinants upon total progeny into 100 and there are two terms given here two point test cross and three point test cross so like here you can see that if there are three genes a b c and uh, if when crossing over takes place between these uh, non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes the recombinants are produced so if three genes are involved uh, we say that uh, this is a three factor cross and if when uh, two genes are involved we say that it is a two factor cross. So, I hope you have understood the topic and uh, let us meet in next lecture.